uh, I'm behind my house now and you can see pipes coming out from my kitchen the washing machine and the bathrooms and they all come here in this uh, settling tank the settling tank consists of uh, stones charcoal and uh, bricks so all the kitchen waste detergent get they, they get settled here and uh, after that it goes for further filtration so you can see some ferns and some uh, plants also have come out so this also helps in the absorption of the uh, detergent uh, waste also and kitchen waste uh, you can also consider this video as a continuation of my earlier video on rainwater harvesting so we recycle the water as much as possible we can go on forward and see the further filtration of this uh, setup now you can see the pipe behind me the white colored pipe so this uh, is the pipe coming out from the settling uh, tank and all the wastewater gray water comes out from there and you can see uh, this uh, area here has uh, grass these are aquatic grass i don't know the botanical name of this grass uh, if they are botanists over there maybe you can help me so what i've done here is uh, simply um, stone chips um, along with um, some sand and i've planted this grass so as per my understanding the grass takes up absorbs all the um, detergent the waste coming up from the house not all of it but maybe majority of it and uh, i've in fact converted this entire drain into a sort of filtration system and uh, you can see the grasses are growing quite okay and even the guava trees uh, next to me also they are bearing fruit nicely maybe because of the nutrition coming from here uh, there's also a fair amount of um, organic material also uh, leaves and some earthworms i'm not sure if the camera can catch that so it's a healthy uh, organic environment here um, and uh, further down we have uh, bricks and uh, charcoal which i'll show you now you can see now the uh, aquatic grass uh, there in the background uh, where i was standing earlier so it's a long line of uh, aquatic grass there and uh, this now um, further downstream transitions into a mixture of uh, bricks and charcoal and uh, further filtration takes place here and then this goes down to a tank which we'll see now the water now comes to this uh, tank over here and the first two which you can see here the lids this contains a uh, combination of uh, charcoal and bricks again for further filtration and the water uh, comes here so this uh, portion here is the tank and i have a hand pump here and also an um, electric pump uh, which uh, the water here i utilize for providing water to the flower plants uh, in the poly house behind me this is my wife's poly house and i also have a pigsty uh, i don't know whether the camera can catch it so i use the water for cleaning a pigsty i also have some chickens here so uh, the gray water is utilized and uh, recycled in um, for secondary uses again uh, maybe not for drinking or something but maybe for watering plants and for cleaning uh, you know your livestock uh, pens uh, the water, excess water from here now goes here to this uh, recharge pit. So this is a pit here and with stones. So this recharges the uh, soil. So I hope you like this video and uh, maybe you can also implement this in your house. A simple but effective way to recycle grey water. Thank you.